Okay, after further attempts and then observing what was going wrong and then coming up with ideas for putting it right, this is the state of play so far. The elastic band, just like before, pulls back the jaw to clamp it. But I've added this extra piece of the plastic strip, the coraflute strip, an extra piece, and then tried moving the position of the pivot and eventually decided that this position was best just here. And the reason is that now, if you look at the line which the string takes, the string is pulling back from the operational end, the lever end here. And when it's pulling, it's now away, a good way away from the pivot, which is all important on the actual jaw, the moving jaw. So that means that when we pull on the string, the pulling action is trying to rotate the whole thing round instead of trying to pull the whole lever back in a straight line, which it was before. So that was an incorrect pivot, um, point of attachment for the string. That was incorrect. That was OK. But this is another improvement. So changing the position of attachment of the force that makes the lever move is a very, very important thing to consider. So now when we move it, there's the action there. No problem at all. Have we created another problem? Well, let's try and pick our little item up, which is just a pencil rubber. So as long as we've got the tension in the elastic band, OK, it should grip with enough force. There we are. We can move something around. Ooh, it's not it's hanging on there. Move things around and then we can reposition them wherever it was important. Look, there we are. It's trying to stand it up. Really, the problem now is this object and these jaws don't really go together very well. They're not exactly the right shape unless that was a perfect fit in there, which it isn't. A perfect fit in there, in which case it, yeah, oh, come loose again. So we'd have to think about, can we now improve the actual shape of the jaw at the end in relation to the objects that we're gonna try and pick up? A useful material for this could just be some card so you could look at folding, bending, twisting, rotating some card, perhaps make a tube. And the reason, the reason that I mention a tube is that it's sort of finger shaped. And then the tube could go on there like that. And you see, and then the tube might give us a better surface in order to grip objects. So that's one thing, cardboard in the form of a tube. And then plastic form is another good, good one. With plastic form, it's, it's useful because it can be easier to use because uh, it's easy to trim with scissors. So what we can do is, and I've already done these, look, I've used the scissors and then just nibbled gradually, just very slowly. You don't need a lot of force for this. Like that. And that's created an opening. And now the opening, look, can attach onto The opening can attach on and similarly with that one look there's another one open it up and now we've got a way of getting them in position so that they're contact probably so now let's give it a go now the elastic band is already stretched now so we've got a bit more tension in it let's try and pick the object up yeah no problem and upside down as well. So it looks like we've got a better area of contact between the form sort of uh, grippers and the object we're trying to pick up. And that because we've already stretched the elastic band, it's giving that bit more sort of uh, pulling force. So now we've got the possibility of sort of really positioning this exactly where we want. So can you imagine if this was a dangerous sort of item and it had to be removed from something and then placed in its own sort of special container somewhere. So that's, there's a special container there, look. So if we were to operate our arm, so there's the business, the end 
which does the operation and this is the end which actually does the lifting let's line it up in it comes lift it up carefully now we don't want to do that we want to be able to turn it round. let's say that's what the uh, activity is turn it round and then position it very carefully perhaps it's a dangerous chemical perhaps it's a, a drug that um, you know a very special anesthetic drug or whatever it is then we've now positioned it and now we've let it drain out take it rotate it put it back the other way there we are I'm sure there are further improvements and it makes me think well if we have uh, another piece of string is it possible just like we've got the pulling force to open the jaws to create the opposite force that closes the jaws by using another string so is that somehow possible so maybe that's one for you to, to think about <laughs>